Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible this 3D modern vase. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important so in order to set them correctly let's go here and let's choose which unit we want to use. For example today I will use millimeters but if you want to change it it's up to you go here click on this button and select the unit that you want and then let's continue. Now I will start first of all with a new component so I'll go here to new component and I will name it vase for example. This is the active component and we will work in it. Let's start with a new sketch so press here create sketch select this plan and now let's construct two polygons. The first one it will be an inscripted one so we'll click here okay and we will write 100 millimeters with six lines. After that we will construct another one but over it so let's go here to create again polygon inscript and we will start from here. Let's select the middle line and let's write 100. Now our task is to delete every single line here. So go to the trim command, so press the T letter and just delete those lines. After that our sketch is done. So press finish sketch, go to the home button and now let's go to the create form button. Now let's go to extrude, okay, the distance 300 millimeters and we must write here three front faces. So I will show you the difference. Now there is just one face and now it will be three faces. So then press OK. After that select one line, double click to select all the lines and let's go here to edit form. Now we need to make it bigger, okay, it's up to you how big you want to be. And after that just roll it, so rotate it like this. The same thing we will do almost here. Double click, edit form, now make it smaller, so to have a smaller waist here and also you can rotate it. Now let's work also on the button. Double click on this line, edit form, let's make it smaller like this. And the same thing we must do it also in the other side. So edit form, okay, and let's make it smaller. Good. Now let's go to the thicken command and let's select our body. We will write 4 millimeters in our case because we want the thickness of 4 millimeters and then press OK. And now look at that. Now we have this wall of 4 millimeters. Our form is finished, so we go to finish form. Now we are back in the solid work. Let's create now some smoothness and let's apply the fillet command. And for this, we must select every single line. So this one, this one. And after that, start to flip the drawing. After that, write 3. And look at that. Here we must have a flat surface. In order to do that, let's create a new sketch. Select wherever plan you want, for example, this one, why not? And let's create two rectangles like this and the other one it will be identical. Good, it's fine. Finish sketch, extrude, select both rectangles and here we will go to symmetric. So delete this part and in this way automatically we will have a flat surface. Let's go here at this plan, select it, select this area and go to create sketch. Now we will use the project command, so press the P letter, enter, and now we have this shape. Finish sketch, okay, and now let's create a parallel plan. So offset plan and go to the opposite direction with minus 4 millimeters. Let's split the body now because as you see this is the body one and we must have two bodies. So split the body, this is the body, splitting tool, our plan, it is the plan. 
So then press OK. Now we have the body 1 and body 2. Let's make the body 1 invisible. Also the plan. And now let's do the same thing. Select this area, create sketch, and then press the P letter. Enter. Finish. And now let's use the loft command. So let's go here, loft, select this area and the other one. Instead of cut, let's go to join. Because this is our bottom now. Let's make it visible again. Now let's have one single body. So go to combine, select body 1 and body 2. The operation it will be join and then press OK. And now we have one single body and also we have a button. For the last part, let's add the material. In order to do that, let's go to appearance, press the A letter and let's write here, for example, green. Because you'll have also a lot of types of glass, but I prefer for this case to be green. And here it is. Our vase is complete. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.